Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to our deep dive session for tonight. I'm a little late that I start, but anyway, I would like to welcome you guys for the Lena Batayo 15 or 25 25 viewers and 15 yata yung sa channel natin. Okay, so hopefully mag continue yung ating uh, live streaming for tonight, although medyo mahina yung connection ko ano. And uh, hopefully, in this uh, very short ano lang, presentation for our management reporting. Yeah, so thank you very much for your patience. And uh, although meron pa tayong later, ano, may financial management pa ako later. But anyway, I would like to welcome you guys to our deep time session. Ayan, so later na lang yung shoutout natin uh, para matapos natin yung topic for... Uh, tonight and so on dami nang nag ano nag chat and so good evening everyone no let me see your chat sayan so sino ba yung first and si Marielle shout out kay Marielle kay Kate ayan so good evening everyone okay so until tomorrow pa no we'll still uh meet dito sa YouTube live streaming ayan let me okay uh-huh wait lang guys window capture tanggalin ko muna ito yung isa Okay, wait lang guys ha. Alright, sige. Let's start with this uh, short uh, ano lang. By the way, yung discuss lang natin for tonight is only a comparison about the centralized and the centralized operation. So, this in connection with our uh, discussion on cost center management reports so before that of course we have to uh, discuss as well what is decentralized though. so we're talking about segment reporting which we discussed already i don't know kung meron kang strategic cost management and so the discussion yan doon our decentralization and the segment reporting okay so Let's uh, allow me to start with this. Uh, again. So, ilan na ba yung concurrent viewers natin? 24 or 10 or 12? I refresh ko yung stream. Ayan, so 9 na lang. <laughs> Nagbawas na yata yung ano natin, viewers. I don't know, medyo weak siguro yung signal ko, no? But anyway, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Sige. So, who am I? So, part 2 ng series natin, we are made in the image of God. So, we discussed um, last week, what makes you, you? And where does your worth value come from? So, to continue with this, no, I would like to um, emphasize the Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. So, we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do good things He planned for us long ago. And this is how God sees you as His masterpiece. So kahit pala uh, madami tayong imperfections sa katawan natin, madami tayong imperfections in terms of our character, still parang yung tingin pala ni God sa atin is masterpiece. So we are priceless as parang work of art. And also, dito sa Genesis 1.28, ito yung proof then that we were created by God. Sabi nga dito, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Yeah, and so, being made, again, no, I would like to highlight this one before we... Uh, Close in, uh, we start with a prayer. 
meaning you are valuable. So, big sabihin, uh, madami kasing definition no, ng mundo. Daming define about who we are. Sino ka ba talaga? No? Uh, ito kasing real value natin. We can only uh, see our value in the eyes of God. So, yan yung pinakamalaking good news sa atin. Wherein other people could not define us who we are. No, only our creator. Sabi dito, you are valuable. So, sabihin mo sa, sa self mo. No, yung self-talk natin, sabi na sa, sa salamin, no, when we look at, sa salamin, we always say, you are valuable. So like for example, LV, you are valuable. So you, you change your, your self-talk no, from negative to positive. So you say, LV, you have a purpose. No? You say to yourself, Miles, Febby, you have a purpose. And... Uh, eventually, no, it will change your idea about yourself. And sabi nga dito, you have been called by God to show others the power of what God has done, what God is doing, and what God will do through Jesus. And aside from being valuable, you have a purpose. And uh, above all, no, you are love. Yeah. So most of us are finding those uh, real love sometimes we cannot find that in our family sometimes yung iba sa atin um, parang nag enjoy nila yung love no? if they see their boyfriend their girlfriend no? their special someone pero above all ito yung isa sa mga reminder dito that from the very first time that you were created by God sabi nga dito you are loved by God so siya yung ultimate talaga na lover natin no, for this is how God loved the world. He gave His Son or His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Ayan. So grace is the unearned favor of God before human beings did anything. God gave them everything they needed to survive and thrive. Before you were ever born, God gave up His own life in the cross to rescue us from death so i want to leave this to you before we ever believe in jesus he rose from the dead to conquer sin god gives because he loves yeah so and god loves you not because of what you've done but because yeah so i think sobrang nakaka nakaka very comforting siya especially in this difficult times no so since we are we are uh, enrolled dito sa Central Philippine University. Our first priority talaga no to to know God more about uh, about him and we we acknowledge him no in everything that we do. Yeah. So hopefully no um na bless din tayo about this short devotional for tonight. Sige. Um let's pray before we start our short uh, lecture for tonight. Heavenly Father, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you, Lord God, because you are so faithful. Lord, marami kaming uh, pitfalls, marami kaming shortcomings sa life namin. But Lord, I, we acknowledge you that you are a forgiving God. And Lord, salamat for molding us into a better version of ourselves. And Lord, this gospel, this good news, it's all about you, that we were created for you. Lord, regardless of our religion or our orientation, Lord, thank you for giving us your son to die in that cross for our sins. Lord, we ask for wisdom. We ask for an, an understanding. Lord, I bless mong students ko. And for those who are watching, Lord God, we, we welcome them to this deep dive session. And Lord, thank you for these lessons that we are, we are about to discuss. And Lord, Bless each and every one of us. And Lord, for those who are uh, going through some hard times, for those students who are not feeling well, Lord, I pray that you will heal them. And Lord, reach your loving hands up. sa kanila, O God, for tonight. And Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor and praise in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Amen and Amen. Okay. Sige. So, in connection with our uh, course description, nakalagay doon, Cost Center manage, Manager Reports. Okay? Nakalagay sa syllabus natin, uh, Cost Center Manager Reports. So, instead of uh, going directly to the management reports, so, basically, mas maganda rin, uh, 
we discuss ano yung uh, form of organization. Ano yung different types of centralized and decentralized organization. Okay, ano yung mga things na uh, uh, related dito sa cost center manager. Yung mga manage, manager reports, right? So, um, you can find that as well dito sa, ano, madami tayong reference sa Google, no? yung mga cost center manager reports. So, as I research, no? as I study our lecture for tonight, I, I saw different types of mga... Uh, company system. Iba-iba yung system nila actually. So, once mag makagraduate kayo, no? once you graduate to uh, next year, so since mga graduating na kayo this year pala, so you will notice, it might be some of you will be working sa BPO or sa hotel, no? different industry. Um, you will discover, discover that each uh, industry, they have their own system they have their own management report or they have their own template now when they report to the management it's either you will report to manila or um other countries now you will report to those uh, main office mga offices now pag if you work sa mga international companies or you will work also sa mga national dito nationwide yung company na yan now, later on we'll have one example one company who are operating into different departments who are operating into different uh, organizations although isa lang siya isang company lang siya pero madami siyang uh, branches or segments so ito yung isa sa mga very challenging no in terms of management reporting because your reporting it's either centralized ka or decentralized okay so that's what we're gonna discuss for tonight okay so yeah so we'll just compare no comparison lang din siya ng decentralized and centralized operations so we will just discussing mga concepts and ano ba yung mga disadvantages or advantages when we talk about decentralized or centralized operations okay so since um yung related na discussion natin is more on sa decentralized so we'll just focus tonight no in the next uh 30 minutes no we'll just discuss this one yung decentralized and centralized operations as you can see pag centralized now we'll define that later on so you we will uh discuss now one 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 by one this uh decentralized and centralized operations so dito sa column ng decentralized and medyo palakayin lang natin sa so decentralized middle and low manager low level managers have decision making power Sa so centralized naman, a few upper management members have decision-making power. So, sa decentralized, ibig sabihin, for each manager or low-level kaman or nasa uh, middle-level, you have the power to uh, discuss with those uh, mga decision-making. Whereas, dito naman sa centralized, only the upper management yung involved dito sa management reporting or sa management decision-making. Number two, sa centra decentralized authority is given to those who are closer to stakeholders or for those who are closer sa, if you are into uh, hospitality industry, your um, yeah, your uh, decision or your authority, no, since naka-delegate kasi. Uh, decentralized is also, uh, you can search it sa Google, you can also find there, parang uh, well-delegated yung mga functions, well-delegated yung mga uh, authority nila, responsibility, no, naka-delegate na siya. Hindi siya parang one-man show. Ibig sabihin, each manager, each leader for that department has the power to decide on things no? kung, like for example sa hotel industry um kung dito ka sa property no sa Iloilo you can decide on those things no kasi nga parang ano ka autonomous so you have the power if the centralized yung organization no pag ano naman pag centralized authority is given to those who are at the top okay as you notice puro lang top management puro lang upper management yung uh, may right or may authority for those mga decision making. 
Number three, organizations are self-sufficient no? pagdating sa decentralized. Okay, mga self-sufficient sila. Okay, dito naman sa kabila, centralized, more standardization. Dito sa decentralized naman, number four, faster decision making. Faster because hindi mo na kailangan um, pumunta sa Manila o hindi mo na kailangan pumunta dun sa other mga upper level management before ka mag-decide, no? before you decide on things. Nasa dito sa, sa centralized, kita mo yung more standardization, more control. More control meaning parang limited lang yung um, authority or yung um, function ng mga lower level management. Ibig sabihin, the upper management, sila yung nag-decide sa mga uh, decision making nila. More expensive, decentralized because madami kang leaders, madami kang department heads dito. No? Pag centralized or pag decentralized. Whereas dito sa centralized, of course, less expensive siya because lesser lang yung staff mo. Or lesser lang yung leader. Kasi most of the time, mga top level management lang yung uh, nai-involve sa decision making. Okay? More creativity, of course. More brains, more people na involved sa management decision making. Of course, mas madaming, mas madaming uh, approach no? to solve those problems. Ibig sabihin, mas madami silang... Uh, choices, mas madami silang options no, to tackle or to uh, solve those uh, different problems no, sa decision making. Okay, so uh, we'll explain later no, what's the value of this, why we need to discuss these things, no? centralized and decentralized. Why not uh, we'll have more parang organized or mas uh, like for example, uh, more standardized no, na type of decision making. No, later on we will tackle those uh, importance. Ano ba yung mas advantage? No, pag decentralized ba, ibig sabihin mas malaki yung income mo or ma mas malaki yung yung possibility mo nga na mas uh, may edge ka for those companies who are uh, centralized or the other way, no? So, as you can see, pag sinabi nating uh, less expensive, parang Siyempre, kung nag start ka pa lang, mostly actually pwede ito sa mga sole proprietor, no? mga sole proprietorship na form of businesses. Pwede ito sa kanila. Because uh, especially pag nag start up pa lang yung company, kailangan mo ng uh, malaking investment, of course. E kung investment mo, pumunta lang sa pasweldo doon sa mga managers. Tapos parang it's not practical pala on those uh, investment. Kasi nga, uh, you're still uh, parang nag start ka pa lang, right? So it's better, parang siguro pa, for a start, kung sole proprietorship ka, you can go with this. Parang centralized pa lang. Kung hindi siya ganun ka-complex yung operation mo, of course it's good no for the sole proprietor. Big sabihin, ikaw lang yung owner, ikaw lang lahat, no? You can go with this sa uh, centralized. Pero pag sobrang laki na ng company mo, you have branches here in Iloilo, Cebu, Davao, uh, in Manila. So you need um, location managers. You need, um, kung hospitality industry ka, you need um, more uh, general managers, no? mga front office managers. Parang isa-setup mo talaga siya na parang stand-alone. Okay? Na parang stand-alone company siya. So it's good dito sa centralized a decentralized form of uh, organization okay so let's go no uh, laliman pa natin yeah so uh, since this is a deep dive session big sabihin we will not just discuss in overview but also the small details of our topic for tonight so yeah so sabi dito Management must accomplish no, its objectives by working through people. Cause, so since decentralized nga siya, the functions here are mostly parang nakadelegate na. No, na parang, oh ito, since ikaw yung leader dyan sa Iloilo, so I will hire uh, resident managers, I will hire engineers, no, mga engineering managers, we will hire uh, accountants, no? Um, decentralized are more on sila sa people. They are more on uh, dito silang sa mga frontliners. So they know uh, the small details of each um, part of the 
company. So, ibig sabihin, the presidents here no, could not possibly execute all their company strategies. Good siya lang. No? As you can see here. So, uh, he needs people, especially pag malaki na yung company or uh, sobrang complex na yung operation. Of course, he need um, professionals who are experts to their um, areas. Like for example, in terms of accounting, sa mga processing ng business permits, eh, ikaw yung president, dun ka pa sa Manila. Tapos pupunta pa dito sa Iloilo. Of course, it's not practical. Ibig sabihin, you should invest Mag-invest ka na ng, ng pangpasweldo mo sa separate people to maximize also your potential as leader. Diba? You, you could maximize. Or parang in term na leverage. No? Can you understand guys when we say leverage? Okay. When we say leverage, of course you are maximizing the potential of a person you are maximizing the worth no that is why we are hiring people we are hiring cpas because hindi naman tayo expert lahat sa pera hindi naman tayo expert in terms of budgeting that is why we are hiring experts no? for us to decentralize para hindi siya parang one man show so parang ano siya teamwork so sabi nga nila di ba when we work in as a team no, we will accomplish uh, more things. We could accomplish more uh, yung strategies ng company natin. Of course, we could, para mas madali siya, no? tingnan mo yung walis. Diba? Pag yung walis, isang ano lang siya, isang ting-ting. No, what will happen? Hindi siya makawalis ng madami. No? Kung dalawa, tatlo. Pero pag malami siya, ibig sabihin you are composed of a team. Of course, your operation will will uh, at least parang smooth yung operation mo kasi decentralized yung form of your company okay so before deciding on these things no top managers determine when delegation of responsibility called decentralization ibig sabihin when we talk about decentralization sab sabi ko kanina we are talking about delegation we are delegating o oh, ito yung function ko main function ko i will hire an assistant assistant director of finance or assistant uh, finance manager yan yung uh, function na i-delegate ko parang ini-endorse ko binabawasan ko yung task ko na ini-endorse ko dun sa assistant ko so that's delegation so one of these uh, benefits of course when we uh, undergo with this decentralized operation ito yung mga things na uh, advantages for the company Okay, so one strategic benefit nga, no, when we talk about centralized naman, no, um, is that that management retains control over key business function. Yung mga business functions nila, like for example, the cash flow management, no, yung cash dispersing management. Pag sole proprietorship ka, you want to know every small details of your operation. So, you want to know magkano yung cash flow natin. Ibig sabihin, magkano yung cash na pumasok for today. Magkano yung cash na lumabas. No? You know, gusto mong malaman lahat. Like, for example, uh, writing of checks. No, dapat ikaw yung signatory doon. Dapat ikaw yung nakakakontrol. Okay. Ito, hanggang 50,000 lang yung ating budget no for for this week kasi nga covid kasi nga uh, nagre-resume pa lang yung operation natin so it's better in this uh, centralized kung medyo small company ka pa although may mga big company pero majority of this uh, for me no in my interpretation uh, this is applicable for sole proprietorship form of company Okay, parang hindi siya ganun kalaki. Wala pang HR department, walang masyadong sa operation. Parang one-man show lang siya. So, we have here, no? Pag, uh, for example, we have here, the retail store manager must often make quick changes in inventory, pricing, and advertising. So, this is one of the... Uh, ayan, for many firms, kasi nga, decentralized, no? Balik tayo dito sa decentralized... Eh, medyo delayed. Decentralized approach is preferable. So, kasi nga, yung, yung function mo is na de-delegate. May ibig sabihin, if there are more important things or more uh, more functions or more ano pa, uh, like for example, kailangan mo pang mag-attend ng, ng mga Zoom meeting, no? which is more important nowadays. Kasi nga, 
you you will meet more people, more investors. Of course, um, what will happen kung ikaw pa yung magpapasweldo, ikaw pa yung magre-release ng mga cash, mga petty cash. So, all, all you need to do is to delegate. You hire cashier, you hire accountants, no? you hire more people. Like, for example, you need uh, to travel uh, outside. So, kung sole proprietorship ka, wala kang manager, wala kang second in command, of course, very disadvantaged kung centralized ka. So, it, that is why preferable talaga yung decentralized form of company. And so, the key idea here, so this one, I would like to highlight as well, the key idea behind the centralized approach is giving authority and responsibility to those who know best since they are closer to stakeholders and have relevant information available to them. Okay, so ibig sabihin, um, it's uh, really an advantage, no? It's really an advantage if we uh, choose this one, yung decentralized operation. Okay, so since like for example, uh, for hiring purposes, when you hire people, of course, you need the best or the best fit na HR manager, the best uh, HR people. Of course, they know how to filter people, how, how to background check. Of course, mas sila yung may, um, may knowledge, may expertise doon sa hiring of people. So instead of ikaw yung mag interview ikaw lahat sa hiring process, no, you, you, you are giving the authority as an owner to your uh, core leaders. Ibig sabihin, you empower them, no? ang ano nila yung mga functions nila. So ibig sabihin, they are authorized. No? They are, kung baga parang dito siya sa duties and responsibilities nila. So that is why it's very preferable itong decentralized approach na to. Okay, so someday if you have your own company, if you will uh, venture into business, so dapat alam mo how to, ano yung choose mo, are you choosing the decentralized or the centralized type of operation? Kasi nga, it's very critical, no? If you are uh, having a hard time to find the uh, quality time with your family, of course, dito ka sa decentralized operation. Pag centralized ka, eh, di parang bibilis kang ano, tatanda ka naman bilis kasi ikaw lahat, ikaw sa purchasing, ikaw lahat sa sa hiring, ikaw lahat sa ano. So, you have to um, prioritize things. So, as you start, of course, kung sole proprietorship ka pa lang, sabi ko nga kanina, you have to invest also to people. No? Try to get, uh, try to hire more people no, na uh, best fit to your needs. No? And di naman kailangan ng mga high-end uh, people as well, no? As, while nag-start ka pa lang. So, it's not a good idea, no? <laughs> yung, yung pera mo pupunta lang sa tao tapos without any return on investment. So, return on investment. So, big sabihin, when we talk about management reporting, we have also to consider, am I reporting to a... CEO or am I reporting to a sole proprietor? Kasi nga, uh, each type of organization, they have their own unique uh, disadvantage and advantages. No? If you are talking about a family-owned corporation or a family-owned company, medyo challenging dyan kasi nga, parang, parang nasa bahay lang na business. No? Parang backyard business siya. So, the level of professionalism, of course, medyo challenge dito. But when we, uh, in, on the other hand, no, in, on the other hand, if we work sa isang centralized company, no, the decision making is more or less parang lesser stressful because you are being empowered to decide on things. Okay, so since, like for example, kung may local manager kayo, no, in example, madaming segments or mar maraming uh, location yung, yung business areas, like for example, sa Cebu, sa Manila, so, kung empowered kayo for that location to decide on things. So, it's better yung management reporting natin. So, it's either you will do a Zoom meeting, like for example, this one. You will just report to the management through Zoom. No? Example, meron kang monthly reporting. Like for example, sa amin, in my, in my past uh, employer, no, we are reporting to the Manila. No? To the, uh, sometimes after that meeting, 
Tapos mag-meet kami ulit ng mga uh, next level or middle level managers no, of the Megawart Corporation. Then after that, of course, meron pang meeting no, local. Ano yung pinag-meetingan namin? So, i-discuss namin together with the uh, uh, management team dito sa Iloilo, i-endorse namin what we talk about during those meetings. Ano yung mga strategy, paano mag-increase yung uh, revenue natin for this coming month. No? So, that's the beauty of decentralized operation. Okay, so just a quick break guys. No? We'll have a short break muna. And so, pang CR break muna. Yan, so ilan na ba tayo? 37, ayan, so lumaki na. So, shout out to our 37, no, 37 uh, live viewers natin. So, ito sa slides, as you can see, today I am grateful. Uh, uh, kanino ka grateful? No? Uh, for those na pwede mag-type, let's have a one-minute break muna to freshen up or to refresh. Guys, ano yung isang bagay, no? one word that you are grateful for today? Ako grateful ako for today for um I'm grateful for my wife. Ayan. I'll just type it. Okay, let me know in the chat guys. Let's have a quick break muna before we continue. Ano yung isang bagay na you are grateful for today? Right? So sige, let me know in the chat. Habang nag-CR yung iba, or nag-dinner. Grateful for my family, sabi ni Alma Thea. Yan, grateful for my family. It's always good to be grateful, no? Hindi puro reklamo, di ba? Sabi ni Jared Truth, grateful siya for my loving family that supports me. Yan. Tama yan, no? Uh, bihira lang. And, uh, we should be thankful as well no, for our family. Sino pa? Let me know in the chat. Sige. Grateful for God for giving me a wonderful life. Ayan. Sabi ni Jairi Truth. Tama. So dapat always grateful tayo guys regardless anong laman ng balita, anong laman ng election, di ba? So kahit anong news na so we should always be grateful. Grateful for the gift from life. Ayan. Sabi ni Crystal May. Sabi naman ni Nicole. Grateful for for the rain. Medj na may mag-sleep kayo na sir. <laughs> Parihos ta. Namin ganun lang gugulan, di ba? Sabi ni John Marl. I'm grateful for everything that I have. Ayan. Sabi ni Gunet. Thank grateful sa Globe at Home. Kayo ay galag, sir. <laughs> Papatakot ko gurug, ano ay, globe. Medyo may hinaaman nga PLDT sa buong. Grateful that my boyfriend is safe in the border of Poland and Ukraine for rescuing the people people there. Wow! Grabe si Makaela, boyfriend niya nasa ano. So, Makaela will include him, no? Sa prayer naton. So hopefully God no, God will protect and also ayan, yung peace between Ukraine and Russia. Ayan. So nakaka-proud naman rescuing the people there. So ga help sila sa pag-rescue sa mga uh, naapektuhan. Ayan. So kumbaga guys, I would like to highlight this one. I I included this in our class, no? And so I included this for the purpose of reminding us that it's not really those big things no, that we should be grateful. Sometimes those small things no, uh, that are usually taken for granted, no, we're not thankful na nandiyan lang pala siya, 
Uh, maybe your friend, your mother, your father, or your loved ones, diba? Okay. Thank you, sir, sabi ni Michaela. Yes, we'll pray for him, no? Sana makauwi din siya and na safe. Okay. So, I know for those uh, other uh, 35 viewers natin, you are also uh, grateful for some things no, in your life. And I would uh, stand in agreement with you that yes, uh, our lives sometimes medyo up and down then, no? Sometimes uh, happy ka, sometimes medyo wala kang gana, wala kang energy, but at the end of the day, don't forget, no? That's my reminder also. Grateful for BTS, sabi ni, ni Febby. The BTS RB. Yung Korean group ba yan, Febby? And grateful daw siya. Si Febby ang nag-birthday last week, no? Blanca Floria. So, grateful for BTS. And those, those mga inspiration, mga pinag-uugutan natin ng, ano guys, ng inspiration and motivation. It's very important, no? Regardless kung maybe sa mga pets nyo, or maybe you have that uh, special someone, or maybe you are looking at those, ano, at those mga celebrities na mga uh, iniidolo natin, no? Uh, in a good way naman. Yan. So, sabi ni Cherry, grateful for my family. Yan. So, lahat tayo, no? We are so grateful sa family natin. Yan. So, Balanca Floor, yes, yes. Cherry. Yan. Grateful. Grateful tayo dapat always. Regardless kung may problema sa bahay o wala, no? We should always be grateful. Grateful for having great friends that I can lean on. Sabi ni Alt Alma Thea. Yan. Tama. So cherish them, no? Cherish them while you are still alive, no? Someday, no, you will miss them. Um, you will miss them especially kung working na kamo. Okay lang kung upod ka mo sa work, but time will come na no? mamis mo gid ang isa kagisa. So it's good to cherish them as long as you can. Now celebrate with them. Um, join with them whatever they are happy or kinanglan ng support, no? So, but silang gan guys, uh, while we are studying this management reporting, you will graduate this year. No? Uh, one advice that I could leave you also is to uh, always be grateful regardless kung ginatudloan ka sa mga boss, regardless kung ginaakigan ka sa mga uh, manager. No? Someday you will work on that or maybe you have your own family business. We should always be grateful to them because kung ginakorek ikaw, it doesn't mean that it is a toxic environment but... Sometimes we should find the balance to that. That sometimes correction or maybe ginatudloan ka because you, uh, they love you. No, ginatudloan ka because they love you. They care for you. Gusto nila maggrow ka. So as early as now, no, don't uh, don't be so entitled. No, don't be so entitled of your own opinion. Always listen. No, magigid natin ang isa sa mga uh, lesson na gusto ko ibilin sa inyo. Based on my experience, always be humble sa mga boss. Always listen to them no, as early as possible. No, hindi ka na magtigas ang ulo. Dapat mamati ka yung pirmis sa mga boss. No? As, as early as you start with your uh, uh, bagong obra na after you, after you graduate. So, it's very important, no, sa management reporting because uh, humility, when you report, of course, ma-discern man na sa atin nga boss if you are um, boastful or if you are uh, parang nagpapalakas or something. Pero yung laman ng report natin, much maganda, mas maganda siya pag, ano, pag uh, free from error, accurate siya, and parang pinaghirapan mo talaga. So, it's so good talaga. So, sabi ni, ano, grateful for having a great friends. Uh, Timbok lang sa kalam. <laughs> Tama, kaon lang kaon. And grateful for having trustworthy friends and loving family. Yes, importante yun na. Dapat trust, trustworthy, sabi ni Merle France. Ayan, si Merle France. Hindi ko hindi malimtan si Merle France kay Kapila ko gabulol sa iyang name. No? Merle France. Tama. Kaon lang kaon. Mikaela, no? Ayan, so. 
So guys, let's go back. It's uh, 8.22, the second part. No, We'll just talk about the difference or the similarities or maybe um, ano ang pwede natin ma-highlight when we talk about decentralized and centralized management. Ano ang nature? So some of this were already um, discussed, no? Some of this were already discussed. But uh, we would like to highlight also. Okay. Sabi ni Ayla, may palagas pa si Ayla. Sabi ni Ayla, grateful for knowing BTS. Ayan. Ano ka ni guys ang meaning sa BTS? Again, behind the scenes. <laughs> I love BTS. Ha? Ano? <laughs> Lalipat ko sa meaning niya. Sige. Let me know in the chat. Sige. For those mga BTS army. Okay. The pros and cons of decentralized, of course, there's no perfect uh, organization. There's no perfect type of management. Each of them, they have their own strength and weaknesses. So, sometimes the, the challenge there is how you balance. No? Paano mo siya i-balance? Paano mo siya Paano ba i-address ang negative? Paano mo i-improve pag yun ang positive side niya? Okay. So, let's go deeper. Okay. Organizations. Ibig sabihin kung sa decentralized management kita. No, I'll just run through yung mga qualities no, or mga pros. Mga advantage. Okay. Mga advantage. Sabi ni, ano, ni Febi. Uh, Bangtan Sonyon Dan Okay Pareho sila ni Crystal And si Febia yan Mga BTS Army And Shout out sa mga BTS, BTS Army dyan no? So it's good kung may inidulo tayo As long as they are helping us uh, To be inspired no? I, I, I saw one interview or one content that BTS Ang content daw ng mga songs nila are very positive. So, it's good. It's good to know that they are, they are, ano tawag doon? Advocate, no? Of this positive thoughts or positive uh, inspiration. Okay? So, salute to that. Organizations are self-sufficient. Ibig sabihin, um, each team member can work independently big sabihin you can stand alone you can uh, since it is a decentralized organization each manager are are atawag dito are empowered no to to decide on things or like for example uh, kung engineer ka no uh, you are entitled for those mga engineering projects no you could propose that this is what you want no you could propose to the higher management. So, big sabihin, self-sufficient, kahit standalone company ka or establishment that are under to a bigger corporation, um, you could, uh, ano tawag doon? Bumabalik sa mind ko yung food sufficiency. Big sabihin, hindi na daw kailangan ng, ng Philippines mag-import kasi nga, yung food sufficiency sana, pwede tayo maging sufficient. No? Kasi yung technology natin before, way back from uh 20 30 years ago diba we are sufficient in terms of technology or agriculture so something like this if our organization is decentralized big sabihin that organization could sustain their own operation big sabihin they can they can be self sufficient no they can generate cash they can generate their own fundings that they can uh invest on capital expenditures no it makes it being self-sufficient sila. So that's one of the advantages of decentralized management. Okay, ano pang gusto kong i-highlight dito? Um, eto, strengthens leadership skills. So dito naman sa centralized structures, sabi dito, leave little room for leadership practice. No, kasi nga konti lang yung yung mga manager dito, no? So, lesser managers, lesser gastos, but yung decision making, more or less, nasa upper management. Pero kung dito tayo sa decentralized, more more middle or mga entry level managers or leaders, pwede silang ma-groom, 
no? Pwede sila matrain as early as now na maging maging part ng top level management. Ibig sabihin para may growth ka, para may growth track ka wherein yung mga mid-level or low-level team uh, leaders, pwede sila parang mag, ma, ma promote no? sa next level or sa next step ng management team nila. So, ibig sabihin, it strengthens the leadership skills. Yung disadvantages naman ng decentralization, and so, may, meron din siyang, uh, ilan ba to? Lima. So, as you can see, no? uh, poor leadership can damage company reputation. Communication barriers. For example, yung dalawang managers nag-away. Of course, walang mag, uh, papagit na. No? Kasi nga, more on sa decentralized yung, yung organization. Difficulty in collaborating because ang daming leaders, parang ano rin siya, parang disadvantage din. Kasi nga, gusto lahat maging leader. Gusto lahat maging, uh, maging sila yung masunod. Right? So, difficult rin yung collaboration. Unless, uh, eto yung mga cons or mga disadvantages pwede ito ma-address actually no? through proper strategic strategic planning proper training no lahat gawin ng management para mag mag work together itong team expensive team of course ang dami kasing leaders ito or managers na kailangan mo i-hire sometimes pag foreigner pa yung manager mo mahal no medyo costly yung talent fee nila or yung professional fee. Service function can waste resources. Okay, isa to sa mga consequences. Punta tayo sa ano, sa centralize, no? Before we end today. Okay, advantages and disadvantages. Ayan. Pros niya, more standardization. Ito yung positive niya. More control pag ikaw lang yung part ng management. Uh, quality managers, of course, the the lesser manager you, you you need for that company for the centralized company, no, mas focus ka. Example, instead of hiring 30 managers, pwede ka mag hire ng lima. So focus ka na lang dun sa lima na quality managers talaga. Less expensive because lesser lang yung managers na i hire mo, and better collaboration and communication because super ano lang super tight lang yung organization hindi ganon ka complex so that's the pros. Yung yung consequence man yung disadvantage of course overwork yung upper management so uh, overwork sila kasi most of the time nagmo multitasking sila. No, yung trabaho ng isang manager, it's either under sa kanya yung finance, under din sa kanya yung HR. No, sometimes pag engineering ka, ikaw pa yung uh, front office manager. So it's very hard, no? Overwork. Uh, lack of balance. Of course, nagiging uh, centralized na yung decision making. Sometimes you are nagiging biased ka na. No? It's either kampi-kampi kayo. No, yan yung uh, disadvantage din. Limited creativity kasi nga konti lang yung managers or leaders na nagtatrabaho lang no, for this centralized management. Slower decision making kasi nga sometimes yung CEO or the president, the leader of that company, um, since siya yung magdi-decide, aantayin mo pa siya. No, after yung meeting niya, kasi nga may, may kausap pa siya. No, powerless team members. Okay? Follower lang sila, hindi sila leader. Aantayin nila yung parang one-man show. So kung hindi pa dadating yung owner, hindi pa madidesidan yung mga small things doon. Okay? So we have the example of decentralized. No? One example lang to Yung aking nakapi kanina. So one example of decentralized management. So, dito ako mag end guys. No? Johnson and Johnson. So, sila isa siya sa mga ayan, Johnson and Johnson. Familiar tayong lahat. Ayan, sila yung mahilig sa mga pulbos, mga body wash. Diba? So, Johnson, Johnson and Johnson. They are consumer business, medical devices, mga pharmaceutical uh, business sila. So, why they choose? They chose uh, decentralization. Because local managers, ito apat yung reason daw nila. Okay? Yung apat na, na reason nila, bakit decentralization pinili nila, is number one, they understand yung mga local managers. Example, Johnson Johnson, they are present in almost every continent or in every country. May 
meron sila mga distributors, mga sales uh, department. So, sabi dito, local managers kasi understand the consumer better. They know the culture no, of this, for like example, Filipinos, mga sa Americans, no? mga Russians. No, example, may business sila doon. Of course, uh, each country, they have their own culture. They have their own priority. Each country, they have their own sets of values. Ano ba yung mas valuable? Is it the hygiene? Is it the health? No. So, each manager, they know uh, ano yung parang this country, amun, amun niyang very bakal nga product. So, they know how to push those uh, product. I understand the government and marketplace. Of course, each country, we have different types or form of government. So, that is why they choose this decentralization uh, type of business. I understand the people they are directly working with. Kasi nga, example, pag ikaw yung sales team manager for that uh, country area or countrywide, You know the people because you you talk to them directly. So mga customer mo won't cripple the whole whole organization if they make mistakes. Eh, pag nag nag commit na mistake yung isang team member, pwede ring palitan or pwede pang mentor, pwede pang coach, na no? pwede pang ma-improve. So isa yan sa mga mga reasons nila. So ito nga they understand the customer, consu- consumer better, and so ito yung apat na reason nila. Okay? So, the men of women, ito yung sinabi ng Johnson Johnson din. And uh, gusto ko rin highlight. Bakit pinili nila yung decentralization? Because the men and women who run our businesses around the world usually are people who grew up in those markets. So, nung maliit pa lang sila, no? until naging professional sila, no? nagkatrabaho, so they... They already know ano yung culture, what's the background of this uh, people, mga consumers. No? They can relate. And that is why they understand those markets and develop themselves in those markets. They can relate to the needs of the consumer, customer, whoever the customer may be. Okay, so um, one of the application not to tie up our discussion for tonight so if you're a pr- franchise company you may find that having a centralized headquarters and decentralized franchise is best for your business mode model so big sabihin each company they uh they may choose or a combination pwede mo i-combine eh, yung centralized and centralized form of organization Actually, pwede mo siya i-mix. No? Pwede mo mix and match. Like for example, uh, I prefer to have control. Okay, that's centralization. I prefer uh, to give leaders flexibility. That's decentralization. I prefer international locations. No? So that's decentralization. Pwede mo siya ma-mix. No? It doesn't mean, ibig sabihin, dapat mag-stick ka lang sa isa. Kung decentralization, dyan ka lang. So ibig sabihin, may, mayroon ding... mga cons and pros na pwede mong i-adapt, pwede mong gamitin sa company mo. Okay? So, it's good, no? You have, all you have to do is to check. Okay? Example, I own a family, small family restaurant. Of course, you will choose centralization. I have a remote company. So, damo ka company, then you choose the decentralization. Or, pag franchise naman, you can mix this one. Yung main office mo, centralize. No, decentralization per location ka for your franchisee. Okay? So, this is uh, very critical when we talk about management reporting. So, uh, related pa rin to when we talk about the cost center. Okay? Doon sa syllabus natin, again, I would like to reiterate lang, this is related to the cost center manager reports. And so, before we discuss in detailed call center manager reports, we should also discuss, no, it's good also to discuss this one, the concept of um, decentralization and centralization. Para mablaman natin, how do we start or how do we generate call center manager reports. So, tomorrow, we will discuss the part two of this chapter. All right. So, it's exactly 8.37. And so, my next class pa ako. So, before my next class, I would like to leave this to you, no? As part of our um, closing. Sabi dito, yes, God allows sickness, job loss, relationship, breakups, shout out sa mga nag-breakup dyan, and many other problems in life. So, big sabihin daw, inaalaw ni God yung mga things na to na mangyari sa atin. However, 
No? On the other hand, yes, in allow yan ni God, but ito yung good news. We can be confident that God is with us. We can be confident that God will never leave us. He may allow shipwreck no, so that we learn to trust Him instead of the ship. So sometimes we are too dependent on what we can do. Sometimes we are too dependent on our money, of our resources, of our family. But time will come. Matetest yung, yung, yung trust. Matetest yung ano natin, yung faith natin. Saan ba nakalagay yung trust natin? Sometimes God is allowing those heartaches, those pains to happen in our lives para ma-realize natin that at the end of the day, we should always put our trust only in God. Okay? So, sa studies natin, alam ko marami kayong i-comply for this SEM. Marami kayong activity, assignment. But, ito yung isa sa mga encouragement na gusto kong iwan sa inyo guys. No? We should always put our trust, our trust in God. Because sabi nga niya, uh, we cast all our cares. We surrender all our worries to Him because He care for you and me. So that's my closing, guys. And I will see you tomorrow for another deep dive session. Good night, guys. Enjoy your dinner.